Prediction Boys, Two Bros to Break back with episode number two of Colton's season of The Bachelor. And tonight was all about first. We had Colton telling us about the first time he ever told the truth about his virginity. We had the rest of the contestants telling us about a significant first in their life. We had our first solo date, impromptu BuzzFeed quiz. Oh. Which Bachelor solo date are you? Oh, that's a good one. Man. I know what I am. Oh, what are you, man? I am the slow dancing under the uh, fireworks and live musical presentation date. Hell yeah, man. The Chris Lane date. I the, like I'm it. easily the Chris Lane date. <laughs> That's good, man. I think I'm the hot tub in the desert kind of guy. Uh, That's what I think I am, so man. So basic. Oh, basic? So know. obvious. I was going more, also, doesn't make sense. I was going yeah, more with uh, overwhelmingly hot, you know? Oh, that's where I was hot. going, man. All right. Uh, but hey, anyways, tonight is my night because we got a hot tub night. in the desert date. Yeah. And we're going to talk about all that and more. But in case you did not know, we are two bros to break. We're every week we're getting the Who's What Tim Hens or But. A Bachelor and Bachelorette Nation. So let's dive into episode two. So as we alluded to in the intro, the first group date was all about telling a story about a significant first in your life. Mm -hmm. And Colton, our man Colton, kicked it off by telling a very real and very true story oh. about how he shared the truth about his virginity for the first time in a professional sports locker room, and the response he got was, hey, that's a really cool thing you're doing, man. <laughs> yeah, dude, which, spoiler alert, that's bullshit. In what reality would that actually happen? There's no way that, I mean, we spent a lot of time in men's yeah. locker rooms playing sports our whole life. That doesn't happen. That's no. not the answer. I hate to say it. That's real life. Yeah, I'm not saying it's right, but it just definitely doesn't go answer. down like that no in way. a locker room. No way. But anyways, man, uh, as far as firsts go, there were a couple people that really stood out tonight. One for a good reason, the other a bad reason. That other bad reason, which I just gotta give you props, yeah. man. You called it. Yeah, and so from a million miles away, when I heard that the prompt tonight was that you're supposed to tell a significant first in your life, I knew that someone was going to take an opportunity to take it way too seriously, take it up to an emotional meter that was just way too high oh, yeah. for a first group date. Oh, yeah. And as soon as I saw Tracy rolling with that hat, <laughs> I don't know what it was about that hat, but I knew it just meant she was here for business. Well, and that gave us a taste of what we were going to get the rest of the episode and probably what we'll get the rest of the season with Tracy. And that's somebody as long as she's around, that yeah. gets emotional and intense about very, very small things. Mm -hmm. But hey, man. Speaking of small things, Demi yeah. was a freaking force to be reckoned with. She might be small in stature, but she is pretty heavy as far as the freaking spunk. Uh, the spunk the factor. The spunk goes. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Well, I mean, she took an opportunity about telling about a first to, instead of talking about a first that's already happened, she's talking about a first that is bound to happen, mm -hmm. where in her mind, she is going to be the first one who wins the group date rose yeah. uh, tonight, and she does it. By knocking that mic out of the way, jumping off the platform, and laying a fat smoocheroni on our man Colton. Dude, she gave him the smoocheroni in front of the studio audience wow. of 200 people, 200. which you and I were doing the math, yeah. is probably pretty close to the audience of the game that Colton played in most recently in the NFL preseason, whatever the hell that was like yeah. a decade ago. I mean, this, right? there's a very real chance this is the biggest crowd that Colton's ever performed <laughs> in front of, not to mention all these girls. And the rest of the women, right? Yeah. I mean, that was a big-ass deal, but it didn't result in the first impression no. rounds tonight, right? No. Or group date rows. Whatever the fuck that is, <laughs> No, right? that was our girl Elise, uh, the 31-year-old out of Alaska who, I gotta put my hand up, in the group, or in the uh, preview video, I said was bound to be the one who stays around the shortest. Yeah. And get eliminated night one, even before a rose ceremony took place. Now she's out here winning a group rose, I gotta give it up to Elise. Hand up, my bad on that one. So the honor of the first solo date of this season goes to Miss Alabama, Hannah B, where they go to the desert for a good old fashioned bachelor date. That's right, middle of the desert, we got ourselves the hot tub date, baby. Well, and despite the fact that Colton's shirtless, mm -hmm. uh, Hannah's got a bikini on, yep. the champagne is flowing, yeah. seems to me like no one's really excited to be on this date. Dude, it gets off to a very rocky start, right? And we're going to talk about more of that in a sec, but part two of this date goes to the water, right? Yeah. They go on the boat, they have a nice dinner uh, uh, above the water, overlooking whatever city they're in. They're in Long Beach. Long Beach. And you know what? Uh, to Colton's credit, the conversation of the night goes to like, hey, so today's been kind of awkward, right? Yes. And it seems like he's steering the, the, the direction of the date and be like, yeah, you know what? I'm just not feeling it. Right. But he allows Hannah to come back in with saying like, hey, you know what? 
I really appreciate the fact that you're giving me a chance to sort of take my time with coming out because I'm just not ready. It's like, no, Hannah, you crumbled under the pressure. You were the first solo date and you didn't perform. And That's now right. instead of actually coming out of your shell and showing Colton who you really are the way he's asking to, yeah. you're just acknowledging that, no, I am not doing that. That's right. And despite that, he gives her the freaking rose band, which is completely the wrong decision. And we've been saying all along that Colton wasn't going to be the right choice. And it's exactly for reasons like this when he could have set the freaking tone of the season and been yeah. like, hey, first solo date of the season, I'm sending a girl home because she's not right for me. I'm really looking for my wife, but she ain't the one. And instead he's like, yeah, I guess I'll give you another chance. Yeah. Why not? It's your birthday after all. I, I can't mean, send you home. The reason he, sh the way he should have set the tone was like to have her luggage actually on the boat itself oh. and then throwing it off. Oh, <laughs> so good. That would have been the way to be like, that's how serious I'm taking this. But think about this, You man. have to go fetch her from the ocean. <laughs> but think about this, man. He's got like 20 plus women at home and he's given a second chance to some girl who gets one of the 10 solo dates that are this season. Yeah. Like, come on, dude. Good There's no the way. way. Solo dates. Great good. Yeah. yeah. There's no way. Even if this happened in real life, if you had... 20 other girls that you were going out on dates with in real life, yeah. would you give that a second chance bit, yeah. to a girl that didn't impress you on a, on one date? There's let no me, way. Let me take it even further. If I had no other prospects and I went on a date <laughs> yeah. that is awkward as it seemed to be between Colton and Hannah tonight, I don't think I would try to go on a second exactly, date. Exactly, yeah. dude. But of course he does because clearly Colton is not ready to tell somebody you got to go. So the final group date of the night follows a summer camp motif, right? Mm -hmm. They start cooking wieners in the morning, which Colton found endlessly funny. Billy Actor told him he was gay, which Colton also thought endlessly <laughs> funny. Right? That would honestly be <laughs> the only twist that could make this season actually a good season. It really would. Was for him to, is for him to have sex for the first time in the fantasy suites and then for him to be like, you know what? Not for me. I kind of wish you had a penis. I, I mean, <laughs> let's get Billy back in here. Let's see if me and I have a chance. And hey, man, I mean, is it really that unrealistic? Just we don't know. Imagine, don't know. imagine what Ari did to Becca, but Colton doing to whoever he picks, and then file following it up with going out with Billy Eichner. Oh. That actually would be a good season. That really would be the most dramatic season in Bachelor yeah, history. Yeah, I mean, but now we don't have good. <laughs> we don't have a good feeling about the way this season is going to develop because. The person who ends up winning the group rose tonight yeah. is Heather. The right. person who's never been kissed and is actually the youngest person in this competition. Right. Uh, and I honestly don't even remember a whole lot of their conversation other than the fact that it was all about the kissing. Colton really liked the fact that she had never been kissed, or at least the fact that she was willing to share that with yeah. him, right? Which once again kind of just goes into the whole thing that we've been saying about reasons that we don't like Colton as The Bachelor. He's a bad rose giver. Yes. I mean, he devalues the currency of the rose. Yes! Which actually, shout out Tracy, because... She first saw this with Demi when she picked up the rose and started waggling it, That's right? That's right. Uh, but he's really taken the rose and is just rewarding people for being open and being like, uh, you know, even though the being open is not the person who he feels like he should end up with. Right. It's just the person who like shares the most. Yes, right? exactly. And it's not the person who he's vibing with the most because clearly that would have been uh, Kaylin or Katie or yeah. Cassie, but instead he's like, hey, I know you said something tonight that you probably wish you hadn't said, so here's a rest. And let's be real. Is this girl actually going anywhere on this show? No, and I, no way. I swear to God, she was beginning to say, just because I've never been kissed doesn't mean I'm not ready for kids. Yeah. I swear <laughs> to God, she was on the verge of saying that. It's like, it kind of does mean that. Yeah, and meanwhile, there are three or f maybe even four other girls on this date yeah. that Colton's clearly vibing with. They're more. all going to be front runners, and instead he gives this meaningless rose to someone who probably won't be around in three weeks. And so we end tonight with three women going home, all of whom's names start with the letter A, which, I mean, I don't know, man. Kind of problematic, if you ask It's me. a conspiracy. We got Alex, we got Angelique, and we got Annie going home tonight. All going home, man. Yeah. Uh, say la vie. Say la vie, man. Uh, but hey, they're gone, but we're still here, which means it would not be a two bros of brick. We are without the two bros of brick stat of the night. And tonight we got a good one for you. The number is 48. And that is the number of seconds in between when Colton first asked Hannah for a toast and when she finally came up with a toast. And I believe... All she toasted to was 
her birthday and for dates. <laughs> like, I mean, it was one of the most uncomfortable showings of not being able to come up with something in the moment that I have ever seen. That's true. And hey, man, keep in mind, that's 48 seconds TV time. It was probably way longer in it real It could life. have been way longer, which would have been so Even awkward. worse, man. So. It, all that would have been going on in my head if I were her would just be like, say anything at this point. You <laughs> cannot... Anything would be better than another second of this silence. Well, hey, man. And I'm going to give the viewers at home a little something special. Bonus stat of the night. That's right. We got Crap. two this week. Holy moly. Bonus stat of the night what? is one. And that is one shitty-ass vlog that Colton started oh. this episode with. Boo. We forgot to mention that in the intro. Yeah. That was, that was a lie. shitty vlog. And once, like we said to Ari... Stay in your lane, man. Stay That's in your our lane, turf. And you know That's what? our freaking turf. Colton, you do the classic thing of like rubbing your chest as like you're vlogging, dude. It's like. That's such a rookie mistake. Exactly. He falls into like the stereotypical kind of like blogger uh, like mannerisms. It's yeah. like, dude. Act like you've been there before. Seriously, man. But hey, anyways, that is the episode, right? We got another week coming up next week that looks like it's going to be packed full of drama. Nope. And if you want our opinions on that, you got to hit that subscribe button so you can join us every week for those episodes and maybe even follow us on IG. Where can they do that, Pat? At the number two bros brick. We had a monumental weekend this weekend oh. where I cleared out the inbox, That's responded right. to everyone who's ever messaged us before. That's right. Even a few new people, so uh, it's engagement city. Dude, on our we're Instagram. sending out friggin' video messages. We yeah. don't mess with text anymore, no. right? We're sending out video messages. So if you want a personalized video message, you got to hit us up at IG. That's at Two Bros. APAP, as personal as possible. That's, That's what right, I baby. APAP. Until next week, we'll see you all then. Adios, y'all.